Okay, so Final Fantasy 7. After we jump ship and get off that train, we're going to be in the tunnel here. Um, these little spider enemies, since they're a new enemy, I'll show them. You can get a item from them, which is very rare, called a spider web. Well, it's rare to get this early from them as a drop item, and what it does is it causes slow on an enemy, so you can farm them if you want, but it's too rare for me to take up my time doing it. And after you come across those lasers, just go to your left and there's going to be an escape hatch thing that you can go down, pick up an ether on your way down there. You could be underground now, even more underground. So, new enemies again, show them off. These are little machines and their weaknesses are thunder. So with our new all materia linked to Barrett's lightning, we can cast thunder on all enemies. But those blue things don't go down so quickly unfortunately, and they take a few more hits. They don't do major damage, maybe like 7 or 8. So you shouldn't have a problem with any enemies here. Uh, go to the left until you see Biggs. Or Wedge. Wedge is the big guy, Biggs is the little guy. And go up the ladder that's behind him. And you'll see Jessie, who says she wants to make a special ID card thing for you. And there's kind of a hidden potion up there in the left corner, upper left corner. So make sure you pick that up and go down the ladder, talk to Biggs. He'll run away and say he'll meet you somewhere. Pick up that, save if you want to, and go up the ladder. Back into the other generator to blow this one up too. Now this should all look familiar because Shinra built all of their reactors the same. For some reason everything is identical. So, should know where to go because we've already been here once. Just follow the usual path that you did before. Um, and yeah, you're not gonna fight a boss at the end of uh, this reactor after you set the bomb. I don't know why there's no guard scorpion on this reactor. Maybe they got wise. Wise to their schemes and just decided to wait. Who knows? Who knows? So after you set the bomb, go back out the way you came. Well, not the way you came, because you slid down a, a pipe or chute or something. And uh, you can't go back up it, so you may have to go out the way you came for the first reactor. I think that's the right way of saying it. But, yeah, just go up the stairs and stuff, since you can't go back up the chute. And, uh, these enemies aren't too tough. You can farm or uh, grind money or AP here if you want to, since after you set this reactor up, you're not going to be given a time limit. So you can take as much time as you want to look around or fight enemies, whatever. So, all of the elevators and everything are the same. And right when you get out of the elevator, there's a ether to your left. So make sure you pick that up. And in this area here, you have to Press the button at the same time, so press circle or X. 
Uh, it took me a couple of tries, so I just kind of cut it out, but when you see Tifa and Barrett's hands just, like, start moving, you have to press the button as soon as you see their hands start to move and you should get it. Or just kind of press it a few seconds before. It's kind of bad timing. So, after you escape, the Shinra president catches you and sends a giant robot thing after you. His weaknesses are thunder. He has around, um, I think 1200 HP. Uh, he's... When you attack him from the back, like if his back is turned to one of your party members, uh, it does more damage, so... You can time your limit breaks just right to make sure that it attacks him from the back to do more damage. And... He has some counter attacks, but whenever he turns around, cast lightning or bolt on his back with whatever party member he's his back is facing to do extra damage. Uh, ice doesn't work that well on him, I don't know why I used it. But uh, Bird's gonna die here. I get him healed up quick enough. Just use a symbol Phoenix down on him. But make sure you keep your party members all healed up. Um. Excuse me. Here's a couple of kind of tough attacks. His um, his big bomber attack does quite a bit of damage, 96 or so. So make sure you have above that amount at least, in health. And I thought he was going to kill off Barret here again right after I used the Phoenix down on him. Could have been pissed. So cure up anyone that has maybe fallen from a Phoenix down or has below 100 health to protect them from the big bomber. And. Uh, yeah. Um. He's level 15. Um, he drops a Titan Bangle. He gives 16 AP and 180 experience. Um. His attacks are Big Bomber, Energy Ball, Rear Gun, and Body Blow. Uh, this is also the only boss battle with a side attack formation where one character is on one side and the other is on the other side, like here now. Like you're seeing right now. But this also gives you a big advantage since it takes five times regular damage when it's attacked from the back, as I stated earlier. And that's about it. After this, he'll be dead. So, good luck.